How's it going, everyone? Nico Knox Phoenix here, and today we're going to talk about Moon Knight Season 1, Episode 2, titled Summon the Suit. Now, uh, the fallout of Episode 1 uh, deals with Steven waking up in his flat, strangely enough, um, and going to work. Huh, that's not, wait, that's not fallout, wait for it. Uh, so apparently the pipes burst in the bathroom. <sighs> and when him and the security dude check the, um, the security feed. Okay, the security dude's got like 20 fucking monitors. And it's pretty cool. I, I would say 20 is the dream, but really not really. The, uh, uh like I'm gonna have six once my setup is fully done. Uh. But that is, uh. Neither here nor there for the moment. Um, yeah, so they check the security feeds and um, it doesn't show the jackal that was chasing Steven around. And so Steven gets in trouble and he's told, you need to go see some doctors. I'm sorry. Like, they're not going to press charges and... And he gets sacked, and he goes to visit the gold stat, the guy who pretends to be a gold statue. Right? No, no, it's pretty impressive. This guy's just like all day, just like oh, I would not be able to do that uh, all day, every day. That I... <laughs> that's a pretty badass shit. It takes talent to do that. Anyway, and he's like, wait, I should go look into these things, right? Because Steven's just, it's having a one-sided conversation with the dude. And he does try and contact a Mark, which is really weird. Um, But, like, Mark won't respond. And then he goes throughout um places where the um storage con <laughs> container could be, right? Now, on his fifth visit, fifth branch, the guy running at the desk is like, yeah, I remember your face. I never forget a face, which is pretty, it's pretty cool, right? Like, if you can't, uh, like, I remember an old, old classmate of mine, I, I met them again because they started dating. They're now married uh, to someone from my old church. Um, and... And she asked me if I remembered her, and I couldn't, mainly because I forgot what she looked like. Like, I remember her name. Now, someone else had mentioned her name, and just straight up decided to ask her a question right then and there, and say her name, and I'm like, dude. I wanted to see how long I could pull off just not saying her name. Because I, I kind of, obviously, I figured it out within a couple seconds, but I just wanted to see how far I could push it. <laughs> it's not me. I like to meme about. But, like, when someone else decided to just drop her name, I'm like, fuck. And I, I, so I just went with, no, I don't. Because I didn't. Originally, I didn't. And I, I'm not really good with faces. Uh, unlike this dude that's probably never going to appear ever again in the show. I'm actually not good with faces unless I see that face, like, periodically. Like, if you take the friend uh, uh that I built the PC for, I had actually forgotten her face, what she looked like. I had actually forgotten what she looked like, and I regularly, uh, like, talk to her in Discord, so. Well, it's because we don't like video chat and whatnot, so I had, I had forgot what she looked like. It, it's been, like, a year since I saw her in person. Um, so... I'm not going to face this. Anyway, back to the show. Um, just saw me clean my G Fuel cup with my finger. <laughs> anyway, um, he, f uh, Stephen finds a gun, a passport, some currencies from. I don't know if they're other countries or if they're British, because I don't know what the like. You know, I don't know what a, I don't know what a. British pound looks like like the bills. I, I've I've never seen one. So and what what is seemingly foreign currencies? So we'll go with seemingly until I. I'm not gonna look it up. It's it it's not relevant to my life until I go to the UK. Um, 
And then Mark pops up and he's like, you shouldn't have seen this. Like, you need to not. Um, Steven is... I don't know how to put this, but Steven is being... Steven is being problematic for for himself, right? He should have just been like... He needs to be like... I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know what Steven needs to do. And I don't know what Mark needs to do, quite frankly. But Steven decides, I'm going to go take all this shit to the police. Uh, And he runs out. And he walks out. As he walks out, enter Conch, the god of the moon, who ends up chasing Steven out and he gets hit by Layla on a scooter and Layla's wondering like what the hell what the hell Mark like she doesn't realize this is an an altar uh I don't actually, actually don't know who the altar is and who the this is an altar it's not Mark it's Steven she's just like I guess I guess he didn't have DID uh backward she saw him last, which is weird, but hey. Anyway, so they go to his apartment where she shows him divorce papers from from Mark. Uh, Mark tries to stop Layla from seeing the scarab. She finds it. Steven tries to give it to her. Uh, and then police show up, and they take him away. Because they find the passport for Mark Spector. Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, woo, 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 they drive off, and they're not going to the police station. Turns out, they're not real cops. They are, uh, working for Arrow. Who, uh, tells Steven that... He used to be the avatar for Conch. And that Conch is very childlike in personality and throwing temper tantrums. Ooh, boy, do I know what that feels like. Ah. If you know, you know. Anyway. Um, when Arrow asks Steven who has the scarab, is it Mark? Layla shows up and is like, I have it. Now, she gives it to Steven and tells him to summon the suit. And then they run out. And it's funny because he gets thrown off a building. And he's like, summon the suit! And, and he, he summons like... Okay, good. Did my, my, uh, my Mac's not picking that up. That was my wake-up alarm. Because I wake up an hour before my alarm rings. Because insomnia. It's more like I give up on sleeping an hour beforehand. Um, I keep it on just in case I have a good night's sleep. Anyway. So he's like, summon the suit. And out comes like a proper like suit. But with like the Moon Knight mask. It's kind of funny. <laughs> like this is definitely Marvel. He's just, and he's like, Mark's like, no, not this suit. The ceremonial suit of Conch. <laughs> it's just like, dude. Dude. And so, uh, when the Jackal shows up and uh, it, it decides to start beating up on Steven and then Layla gets involved. Uh, she can't see it. But she figures out, yeah, there's something beating him up. And so she whacks the, whacks the Jackal a couple times in the, in the back of the head. It decides to 2v1 them and uh, Steven still refusing to give Mark control. Um, now, Steven just whacks the jackal. Um, he knocks him a good one, right? But um, unfortunately for Steven, um, it's not enough. And he's like, dude. And so Mark's telling him, dude, look around you. If you don't give me control, people will get hurt. And so, Steven gives Mark control. And Mark immediately goes full Moon Knight suit. 
right? Just like last episode, and he kills the jackal. Now, uh, Steven pops up in the reflection, like Mark has been doing, and um, Steven is freaking out, right? He's like, I don't like this. Uh, I'm going to take control, and I'm never going to let you out. Again, he's doing the, I'm never going to give you. I'm like 90% sure that the body is actually Mark Spector's. So. <sighs> Steven has no right to stop Mark from coming out. Um. Uh, who knows? Uh, I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I really don't know. I'm not very well brushed on DID. But anyway, Conch appears and he's like, I thought we had like, I thought you had this under control. Talking about Steven, um. Saying like he wouldn't interfere and whatnot, but he has. Now, Conch brings up that a deal is a deal, yes, but my next candidate, you're not gonna like it because it's someone near and dear to your heart. This is talking about Layla, Mark's wife. He loves the woman so much, he wanted to divorce her, and the hopes that. Conch wouldn't pick her as his avatar. I I I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, like that's some that's some dedication, but also, yikes. Anyway, so Conch is like, uh, Conch takes um, Mark. Steven, Moon Knight, all of them, obviously, because they're all in one body, um, to Egypt, to Giza, because uh, you see the pyramids, like, up close. Anyway, it doesn't say, but, like, it's, I, I, I me, obviously, I can figure it out. I've been to Egypt. Uh, I've actually been to Giza. I've been to the pyramids. I, well, the area around it. I was, I, I was, like, half asleep. I was, like, is this in 2002? So, I was like, eight. It was summer. I was tired. I, I was asleep. This was back before uh, my anxiety and depression kept me up at night. This was before depression, actually. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't depressed back in 2002. It, it's something that popped up in my teen, teen years. I was anxious, yes. I had, I've always had a little bit of anxiety, but it was like, it's like just above what is considered like the normal, everyone gets it. Back then, and obviously as the years went by, it kind of grew. But yeah, anyway, so the episode actually ends with that. Um. With Mark being in Giza. They are now, I guess, going to find this go sealed goddess, I think. I think it's a goddess. Uh, I haven't studied ancient Egyptian mythology in, uh, in, a, in a while. It's been, it's been a couple years. Um, um but yeah, uh, now the question that... Oh, and then the outro music was something in Arabic. Um, I don't know the name of the song. If you guys know the name of the song, feel free to uh, mention name and artist down in the comments. Um, the episode... Uh, now, now, let's talk about my thoughts on the episode. Uh, or at least round them out. Um, it was interesting. Um, I, I'd really like them to just tell Steven you have DID. 
right? Like, very clearly, he doesn't... Steven himself doesn't know he has the ID. Uh, Mark knows it. Conch knows it. I Layla apparently doesn't know it. Just... Oh, that's fine. But great. Um... They need it needs to be like just it's a revealed he has DID. It, it needs to be revealed to everyone. But uh, whether they do it or not, I guess it's up to the writers. Um Conch is interesting. Um obviously this is a like ancient Egyptian mythology based um type of show. Which fair enough. Uh I don't mind it. I I do like uh Ancient history. I am very much a student of ancient history, even if I haven't studied it in a in a while. Um, it was my favorite thing to study in school. Um, uh, next to bio. I'm more of a biological sciences person, but I, I am still almost as much a student of history. And uh, I don't know. Hey, maybe we'll have to like cross reference and shit. Uh. What what is true and what is just Marvel taking liberties. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's good for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright. If you watch till the end of this video, put hashtag Moon Knight into the comment section. Along with the name of the song or your thoughts or whatever. You know, goodbye.